It's going to be an incredible start for the FIFA Women's World Cup this year. We, of course, have the opening match and the opening ceremony in Auckland where the New Zealand football ferns will take on Norway. And then a few hours later, across the ditch, we're going to have the Matildas playing against the Republic of Ireland. Two absolutely massive matches, and we're expecting over 100,000 fans to fill those two stadiums and take in that momentous moment, which will be the opening day of the Women's World Cup. And it's going to be a huge day for women's football because we also have our fan festivals up and running. There'll be tens of thousands of people there, as well as what we know will be millions of fans watching on broadcast all over the world. So we're certainly pushing this tournament beyond greatness and the opening match day will certainly show us that. It's definitely been a huge team effort uh, to make this happen. We've worked very, very closely with our stakeholders, Football Australia, the New South Wales Government, uh, Stadium Australia and Sydney Football Stadium. Uh, I have to say Sydney Football Stadium have been incredible throughout this process. Like us, they believe that this Women's World Cup can be the biggest and most successful ever. Uh, and they're putting a lot into this tournament with hosting six incredible matches. So thank you very much to uh, Sydney Football Stadium for their efforts around this. But listen, FIFA is here to deliver world-class events. We deliver world-class World Cups, and this one will be no different. So there's a lot of due diligence and work and analysis that has had to go in to make sure that if we make this switch, it doesn't impact on the world-class product that is the FIFA Women's World Cup. So we have a new exciting opportunity now for all those fans that are interested in attending this match. I think the first thing to say is for all of the fans who already had tickets for this match when it was to be played at the Sydney Football Stadium, your tickets are locked in. They will be automatically transferred to Stadium Australia. You don't need to do anything except prepare to support your team at that match. For those fans that want to take advantage of this opportunity and buy tickets, the tickets for match two, the Matildas versus Republic of Ireland at Stadium Australia are going on sale on the 24th of February. So make sure you go to fifa.com forward slash tickets and there all the information you need is there. Opt in to receive the mail updates from FIFA because that's when you'll know when tickets are being released and when you need to be waiting online to push go and purchase the tickets you want. But definitely get in there, get in there early. You do not want to miss out on being part of this historic day for the Women's World Cup and for women's football. It's absolutely incredible that the Republic of Ireland have qualified for a Women's World Cup for the first time ever. What a huge, huge moment for that country and for women's football. And we know that there is a huge expat community in Australia from Ireland, and they also have a huge travelling fan pack, um, which is all the more reason for us to consider uh, this move of the stadiums for their match, just to allow as many seats as possible for those fans to fill.